Hey, welcome to Macro Mornings. I know it's the afternoon, but anyway, it's Macro Mornings for me. Some, it's morning somewhere in the world, I guess. Anyway, so here we're going to show you another TML, another macro for TBC. It's part of our modeling uh, data prep toolbox, so it's under the data prep command, and it's called crop crossing. And the key here is that very often on jobs, you're going to get um, things like the flow lines, curb lines, back of curb, lip of curb, and you don't want the contours uh, to be used for the model in those areas. Um, you're going to blow those out because you're going to grade likely all the way through to back of curb somewhere. So in this case, we're going to take the, uh, the flow line of the, of the curb itself. And we can say, uh, in this case, we can say single line with offset. So we're going to pick the flow line here, which is this line. And uh, then we're going to say we want an offset. So this line is going to the right. So the center of the road is over on the right side. And let's say we know that it's 1.5 feet to the right is the uh, lip of curb, and we want to destroy the contours in that area. And then the offset on the left, let's say we want to go uh, half a foot to the back of curb, and then maybe three feet from there. So let's say we want to go 3.5 feet back on the left side. So put in a minus sign here and tab. And now this has drawn me a yellow band, three and a half feet this side and one and a half feet this side. And this is the area in which it's going to crop out any contour that crosses in this area. So these bits here, the bits in this area here will all be deleted as you go here. The show line direction is just so we can show you the left and right side of the line easily. And then here you can say you want to do this over the whole length of the line or whether you want to just do it for a portion. So I'm going to do the whole line here because I want to get, take out all the contours on this side. And then here you can say the lines to crop and you can open up the select by layer function. And you can see there's nothing selected in here. So I'm just going to pick on one of the contour lines just to pick it. And at that point now we've picked just the contours and we can say OK to that, so close. And now we can say apply and that will crop out all those areas of the contour. So you can see they're all gone now. Now we can do the same thing for the other side. In this case, it's reverse. So we want to do one and a half feet to the, uh, to the left. So we want to go minus 1.5 in this case. Or we could just reverse the line and use the same offset. So I'm going to do 3.5 on the other side. So now we've just reversed the situation. And again, this time we can pick the lines to crop, pick them by layer again, and just pick the contours that are remaining and say OK. And at that point now we can say apply. And now those contours have been trimmed back as well. So again, that's a very quick and easy way of removing just a piece of the contour around these lines. The other way you can do this is by saying do it by two lines. So if we wanted to, for instance, use a corridor model in the areas of the pavement, and so we're not interested in using the contours at all in there, then we can say pick the first line on the left, pick the second line on the right side. Here, that paints the whole of the corridor area, and then I can say pick the contours again by layer. So here we go, select by layer, and we're just going to pick the contour layer, and again we're going to say close and then say OK, and that blows away the entire contours in that area. And now they've been cropped back on the outside as well, so that gives us exactly what we need for the 3D modeling perspective. And again, that's so we can grade right the way through the curb and gutter section in the finished grade model, and then we can add the line work back for the top of curb, back of curb, and lip of curb for the stakeout crews if they need those. But for the actual 3D model, we only need the flow line, and then we're going to grade the road with the corridor model, and we're going to grade the back lots uh, and the lots uh, with the uh, surface model information generated from the pads and the, the contours that are on the site. So again, an easy way to build this model. Great little tool, saves hours. If you have to clip these out by hand, it can take you hours on a big job. This will do it in seconds. So again, great tools and uh, will make you more productive and more competitive in your bids and your estimating process. All right, thanks. Enjoy your macro mornings.